57 inches is a function of physics. It's a function of math. When you look at the pictures of seat belts that are not on the child's body properly because of the size, the physician showed us the uh, injuries of the children because our height limit is wrong. So in order to correct this, you have to use simple math and physics to determine where should the lap belt be. And that's what the 57 inches is for. We heard testimony from, we've seen testimony, we have heard from physicians, child safety advocates, transportation engineers, a lot of science says that this is the way we need to change it because this will result in a whole lot fewer injuries with children in the seats. So we need to conform with all the surrounding states that have the same law. The science is with us. The concern about children's welfare is with us. So Mr. Speaker, I think that um, that would be hard to argue against. Some people might say it's too much regulation. But if the regulation is done mathematically and factually, and it can be proven that it helps children in this regard, I'm not, you can't say that all regulation's bad. I mean, we have regulation that says you can't sell medicine if it's expired. We have, me, we have regulation that says you can't buy tobacco if you're under 18. Those aren't bad pieces of regulation just for regulation's sake. So I welcome hearing from somebody who tells me from a physics and mathematical standpoint, and from what the physicians say, and what the transportation engineers say, why the 57 inches is wrong. Not from an emotional standpoint, but from a real factual standpoint. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.